screen right here. You got the Sonics, you got the Sonic background, then you got, I mean, this looks really clean. In this video, we're gonna be checking out Retro Minis Neo, and forgive me, I'm fairly new to this, I'm just, you know, checking out new builds, but it's a retro FE base image, but it uses Rocket Launcher, and it has a fairly unique experience. Now, just based off what I see here, there's a little uh, area here for controls, and any kind of technical issues, you know, things to install. Even looks at, okay, cool. So it has a couple options here. If you GameCube, Wii, Dolphin isn't working, Wii U, Wii, and GameCube emulation. And it even has a little helpful for um, future pinball, how to get those fixed. Oh, it even tells you to install this script, which I found out the hard way. Um, and then a lot of this stuff is just stuff you have to install on your computer to get it to work anyways. That one little fix for uh, future pinball, you just go to Rocket Launcher, then go to Media, Fonts, and you just need to install this font, hit install, and you're good. <clears throat> um, the other thing, if you want to use future pinball, it's the easiest thing to do is just open up future pinball from here and just make sure all your settings are correct, your controls are correct. And then when you go into the main front end here, you know, it's going to be really easy to do. So let's go ahead and jump into it. There's also your controls and your settings if you want to change those. You can change them in the config files. All right, well, let's hope Dolby or whoever doesn't copyright strike me for that. But anyways, when you first get in, it's about a 40 gigabyte file, and it's actually quite a diverse set. And just like CoinOps and other uh, emulation front ends, this is more of a sampling. These do not have, like, for example, Future Pinball, it's only three pinball boards. So you click in, it has a, you know, I haven't clicked yet. If you just hold over, you get the video snap. And then when you go in, you have your games. And if you just stay on the game, it gives you that video snap there. There's nice controls for you and uh, some information. It doesn't tell you the total number of games though, uh, which would be nice. But right, right from the beginning, what I really like about this is how clean it looks. It's one of the cleanest front ends I've ever seen. The one thing I don't like about it is it seems a little slow. Like, for example, if I scroll over here, I'm going to click A as fast as I can to get back into Turbo Graphics Nintendo. It took that long, which doesn't seem that long, but it's a little bit of a delay from when you scroll on top of something to you can actually click into it. Now, like I said, this is just kind of a, you know, look at this, like there's only about less than 10 Nintendo 64 games. Let's go back and Turbo Graphics CD, I think there's just going to be a few games. So do note that this is kind of a base image that you can add on to and we'll go through these collections here but there you go um, you can absolutely add on add-on packs and there's a little drag and drop add-on packs for this that uh, run really uh, well um, but based on what I've seen so far I think a lot of people are gonna like this who um, you know they really like the look of this okay it does tell you how many games is that it yeah so there's 30 um, games. Oh, and it also tells you the time in the upper right corner as well. That's cool. So let's go back here. So we did Future Pinball. You had three Amiga. You have 30 as well. Pretty cool. Gives you some information in the upper hand, upper hand left corner. Oh, it even tells you how many players it is and what kind of game it is in the lower right hand corner. So that's really cool. And I feel like it, it's not... Oops, I didn't mean to start that. It's not um, taking away from the experience at all. And then you get these large loading screens. Um, as far as bezels go, you'll see a little bit later that almost all the systems have bezels. Start Select is going to be your exit emulator for mostly all the games here. So Commodore 64. You got 10 games here. So it scrolls really nice. It just takes a second once you land on something to start seeing the video snap. Coleco Vision, you got that Donkey Kong there. You only got 10 games here. All right, the Cabbage Patch Kids. Arcade. So here you go, 814. And I'm not surprised by this. There's a lot of games. This looks so good though. Like, this looks really good. Like, Cowboys. Come on, get on there. How cool is that? 
1992 release, Wild, Wild, Wild West Cow. Gives you the publisher up to four players, 1992. So this is a huge arcade set. I'm not going to necessarily go through all of it, but, you know, all these, you know, coin ops and everything, I'm noticing that they're all, they're all carrying a similar arcade set for the most part. Like 90% of it is the exact same. So I'm going to kind of skip over that. It's, it's got the games you want. Killer Instinct, Street Fighters, Mortal Kombat, Side Scrollers, the shoot 'em ups So Super Nintendo, 100 games. That's good to see. It looks like there's some Super Famicom in here as well, as you saw in the beginning there. So it's a mix of SNES and the uh, Japanese releases. That's actually what I've noticed a lot. There's a lot of Japanese releases on this whole uh, system here. So PlayStation 1. Only three games, so not much there. PSP, portable. So no PlayStation 3 on this. So about three, yeah, uh, three games there. PlayStation 2, three games here. Look at those, look at those video snaps, nice. ZX and Clear Spectrum, 20. Sega Saturn. The the Sega Mod <clears throat> Model 2 and 3 are really cool. I'm really excited about that. So you got three games there. Naomi, you got 10. All right, Sega Model 3. Some, some really cool games here. I really like these a lot. Something you don't see on a lot of builds. So you're looking for that arc, those arcade sets. That's something that a lot of these retro builds or uh, computer emulation builds are cool for. Also, a lot of sports games as well, like soccer, or football. Let's see more soccer. Sega Water Ski. Now, a lot of these games were meant to have like you know, like this one. You're supposed to sit on a little fake motorcycle. You know, um, there's there's like an interactive component to it. And um, you can still use an Xbox 360 controller. So there's a lot of, uh, yeah, so 100 games. But again, I think, um, I've never seen this artwork before. That's pretty cool. Um, a lot of these games, I think, are also going to be Japanese releases as well. But uh, really cool. Like, let's just look at this screen right here. You got the Sonics. You got the Sonic background. Then you got, I mean, this looks really clean. I'm loving it. I like the Maximum Carnage. Really good imagery. Whoever picked these pictures, like, really clean. Like, look at this Streets of Rage area. I'm liking that a lot. That's so cool. So you got Sega Master System. We're almost through. A Thomas Wave, you have a few. So it's, you know, on the bigger systems, you get 10 or 20 games. And then on the, but the arcade, you got a huge set. So very similar to coin ops where they front load it with a big arcade and then as far as the consoles go they're like hey you can go and add what you want three games for sega cd we're almost at the end we're getting we're coming up on some big emulators as far as space goes it's got 10 games but now you have pc games you only have three you have two indie games, Braid and Spelunky, and then you have the Pac-Man remake. We, you have, uh, I think there's a few games, no, three. And I'm gonna play this game later, Galaxies. Wii U, you have three games as well. And this has a huge bezel on it. I'll load Super Mario 3D Worlds later, just show you like what it looks like. There's a little bit of lag, actually, in that emulation, so keep that in mind, but nothing crazy. And a lot of that depends on your system as well. So, three Nintendo GameCube. Game Boy Advanced. Only 30 games. There are your 30. And I'm sure, I haven't played these yet, but I'm sure there's a nice big bezel around it. NES. So I get, is this in alphabetical order? Yeah, that's cool that they left the Nintendo. It is because they just left. That's cool. That's something that a lot of people, 
Oh no, I guess this is sorted by, you know, goes Nintendo, Sega, okay, PC, okay. I'm I'm kind of curious. How is this? Because PC is here. Why is PC between LMNOP? I get that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see at the bottom what they do these as. They put Nintendo first, Nintendo, 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 NEC. Okay, Turbo Graphics, NEC. Okay, F, F C. So the that's the alphabetical order they're in. Nintendo DS. I see it in so many different configurations these days. So you got you have your. Uh, Tetris DS. N64, again, you're not gonna see many games here, but you can get like a Nintendo 64 add-on pack, for example, and get like the whole collection. Um, and then we saw these ones already, right? From the beginning of the video. So let's go ahead and jump into a few games. So final thoughts on this, um, I'm really liking it. I know a lot of people like Rocket Launcher and all that it brings to the table. It's definitely a little harder for some people who haven't like used it before, understanding the launcher and how to do the controls and everything else. Um, that's something I didn't jump into either in the video was the settings area. There's a lot of ways to like unlock and lock the settings, turn bezels on and off, turn the introduction video on or off, uh, specific video game bezels on or off, shaders on or off. You could do that all within the actual front end itself. I can go back here as well. And um, 
so it, it gives you pretty much everything you want as far as visuals i gotta give this thing like an a plus 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 uh many 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 because it really is uh really gorgeous like beyond a doubt it's one of my favorites that i've seen around and um it's a good base image. I've seen a lot of add-on packs as well on some of the websites. I'll put a link to the Discord, but you know, backups.me and some other websites have this stuff. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's really, really, really nice. Um, where I would knock it was that that lag. Like, why do why do I have to wait before I can select into a? There's a little bit of uh, lag there. And I mean, the one thing it does do. See, and then yeah, it's not it's not it's not seamless that transition. Um, but other than that, it's really, really cool. I like it a lot. So, um, I think it's worthy of checking out. It's a pretty small file size at, um, you know, 40 gigabytes for this base, um, for this base image. It comes with, you know, all these emulators pre-installed, you know, RetroArc for most of your other cores, but then, you know, you got PS, probably PPSSPP, and you got, uh, PCSX2, and then you have your model two and model three emulators. And so you can edit all those, uh, you know, very easily on your own. So that's what I think. Let me know all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.